An easy way to think about this problem is to understand a little bit more about factoring. So if I had eight and I said, let's factor the number eight, I could do it as four times two or eight times one, right? Because the factors of eight and one and four and two, the product of them are always gonna give us the number eight. So in the same respect, if I have x cubed plus two x squared plus three x plus six, if I can factor that and one of those terms is going to be x plus two, then I can determine that x plus two is a factor of the polynomial. Remember, factoring is the product of rewriting a number or a polynomial as a product. So let's see if we can go ahead and factor this. To do that, first thing I'm gonna look at is to group the first two expressions and the last two expressions. Now what I wanna do is see if I can factor out a GCF or the greatest common factor of these two terms and these two terms. For here, I recognize I can factor out a x squared. That's gonna leave me with a x plus two. Over here, it looks like I can factor out a positive three. That's gonna leave me with a x plus two. Now you can see, again, I have two terms separated by addition, and inside the parentheses, I have an x plus two and an x plus two. So now I can factor that out one more time, and now you can see I have rewritten this polynomial as a product of two factors, one being x plus two, which is the question, it is a factor.